Hello and welcome to Wednesday. Um, we started treating everybody and, and starting to deal with that. Um, if you missed the end of last week's vlog, uh, we brought Peabody to the vet and it turns out that he had fleas, which means all the other animals have fleas. So, <laughs> over the next couple of days we're going to be treating them. I'll probably mention it in passing. Um, but the big thing today was um, giving Peabody his initial treatment, which also contains like a pill, which needs to be like ground up and put in his food and he did not want to eat it. He was being such a pain in the ass, which sucks, but eventually I got it down his throat. So what I ended up trying is like mashing it up and sprinkling it over his food which seemed to work for the most part. There was a small little piece that he didn't take, but it is what it is. It's better than nothing. Also, it's been hot, so if I look sweaty, uh, and it's gonna continue being hot. So, oof. <laughs> for now, though, everything is like started, we're going okay. Thank God. <laughs> I expected it to be a lot more tedious, but Everything seems to be going smoothly, thankfully. Uh, originally I was planning on streaming, but things came up I wasn't able to. It's well past the time I would have been able to start and I'm only just getting a second to sit down. Um, first things first, and I'll show you this in a minute, but um, this fan is getting replaced today. and. Joe's just looking for a ladder. Uh, I'm acting as like support, but he is the one doing the main stuff for changing it. Um, shortly after we got here, one of the strings broke, so it's only been able to be on full power or off uh, by using the switch on the wall. We have not had any reasonable amount of success in trying to change the speeds, so we've kind of just not used it too, too often. So we finally got a new one, and we're about to replace it. Otherwise, uh, Mom has started like deep cleaning the house and has needed help with that because, as I mentioned on Tuesday, fleas! Yay! Um, but basically we're um, getting started with the, the big deep cleans that we need to do for everybody, and yesterday we treated um, we gave Peabody a, a, a flea control pill that the vet gave us on Tuesday because he was the one who had it the worst. Um, then we treated the other dogs. So we're, um, we're good on the dogs. We still have to do the cats, but it's fine. We'll, we'll uh, take care of that today during our deep cleaning adventures, but we do need to get the ball rolling on that. We got about halfway there, but we're having trouble getting it down from the ceiling. So, um, we're taking five, and, uh, that's the state it's in. This is the, uh, thing that we replaced the old fan with. You can see the outline of the fan is still there, so we have to, like, clean or paint or something, but it was such a huge pain in the ass that we only finally just got it up at like 845 <laughs> but it you know, honestly I like this new light and it came with a remote that um lets us change a bunch of things so like we can make it warmer light we can make it colder light I have the thing upside down let me up the brightness warmer colder it's a little hard to see because the auto weight balance is actually like working for once. My balance locked. There we go. You see now? Now it's getting warmer, and then I can have a night light, which is very awesome. But by and large, it is getting late. I need to go to bed because it's truck in the morning. Yay! Hi, I 
did a thing today, and I want to show you it. I played, I played, I went to How Long to Beat, realized, hey, I have a thing. So I started filling it in, and, um, I started going through and, like, adding all of the stuff from, um, previous streams onto here, and now I have all of my stuff. Along with roughly how many hours it took me to beat it. The, um, a lot of these games are, like, stuff that I beat on stream, but I'm also gonna try to include stuff that I play on my own time on there, especially so that I can, like, give my thoughts on games if I don't stream them. Like, I'm in the middle of playing the first Starfy game right now, uh, which was released on Nintendo Switch Online, but I went and got a, uh, a fan-made patch for it to, um, to, like, uh, have it play in English so that I know what's going on, because I can't read Japanese. So having something like that is very helpful. And I hope the rest of the games get fan translations as well. Because the only one that released here in the States was the fifth game, which is wild. Uh, especially because they have a, um, they have a reference to it in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, <laughs> and then never did anything with it here until the DS. So I played the first game. I should be finished with that tomorrow. I don't know. I had a, if I have time. But I, I added a bunch of stuff to the How Long to Be profile, and I'm gonna try to keep that up to date. Not as I play games, because uh, like the stream games, I could just get the final runtime when I'm done with the game. But anything else, I'll try to keep it updated as I go. For now, I um, I want to finish Starfy, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call today here. <laughs> So I beat the legendary Starfy today, and, or I guess more specifically, Star, the Legend of Starfy Origins, which is the fan patch that I mentioned yesterday for the first game in the series. I, um, I got very excited to play it because I have been looking forward to playing it since it came to NSO, and then I started to realized that, oh, this is very dialogue driven. Let me see if there's like a fan patch because Nintendo's not gonna do it, why would they? So, I found the fan patch, I uh, applied it to the ROM, and I went and played through the whole game. I didn't 100% it, um, and that's fine because there's a lot to do, but all of the boss fights are really fun and unique really makes use of your moveset. Uh, a lot of them are like, oh, you have to get good at like the swimming mechanics to be able to like dodge their attacks to line yourself up to attack. Like there's one where the entire arena is like surrounded by spikes and you have to dodge his attacks and bounce him into the spikes, which is really cool. It took me a few tries. None of the bosses were like super duper hard but they were definitely all, like, fun. A little challenging in some places, but definitely a lot of fun. Uh, the big thing for me is that this is the first game in a series that I played as a kid, and it held up to my memories of it. <laughs> like, like, genuinely, it, it... I have very fond memories of playing this with my cousin when we were younger, or specifically the fifth game on the DS. So going back to the first one, and it's still having that same level of polish, the same level of enjoyment out of it, is actually really cool, and it gives me high hopes for the rest of the series. Um, whether or not that stays, we'll, we'll see, but I'm definitely very like excited to, to, to play the, more of them. Uh, I hope the future games get fan patches too, because it's kind of hard to know what's going on when you don't know the only language that it was released in, but, you know, we'll get there, <laughs> hopefully. It's not like there's a lack of, uh, enjoyment out of it, or a lack of, um, 
motivation out of it because this the fan patch for the first game was dead for like 10 years it came out the end of last year the end of 2023 so i'm sure i'm hoping the rest of them are being worked on but for now that's it and i'm gonna pull up my how long to beat page and talk about the um the amount of time that i played yeah see I, it took me about four hours. I did, like, the main story plus a few extras, which, based on the overview, should have taken me about that much, maybe a little more. But the only one that has, like, a big enough thing to be, like, confident in is main story. But I, I did do some stuff. Anyway, I liked it. I would definitely recommend it if you're a fan of 2D platformers, and especially of Kirby, because it has very similar vibes to Kirby, it, like, in that it's, like, super cutesy. Um, and it's very forgiving for first-time players, which is something I've noticed Kirby tends to be. So, here's hoping that it stays okay. And I hope that I get future games in the series soon. So, me and Joe went out today. And we were hanging out and running around and went to a game store. And here's what I got. Um, so, so first we went to this big... It's not like super big, but it there, there's this mall thing near us. And then we went to our local game store, and then we went to this, like, tabletop game shop, and then we went food shopping, and then one other place. I don't remember where the other place was. But I got a couple of games. I got Neo The World Ends With You, which is very exciting because I played the first game a few years back and really loved it, so I'm excited to have the second game now. Because I never got to finish it. I played the demo back when that dropped and did a mini visits on it, but I didn't really go very far with it. Then I got this, which is considered one of the worst Dragon Ball games out there. I did not have it, now I do. And I got it for Shits and Goons, and I did not have to pay a cent. So uh, it actually is like really funny to me that I was able to get this quick, uh, especially with Sparking Zero about to drop in a couple of days, but I'm excited and now I have it and I'm going to play it at some point. I don't know when exactly, but I want to play it, so I have it now. Anyway, there, there wasn't really much to talk about today, so I got these new games. <laughs> I did a stream of Spark and Zero today, and it was fun. I love the game a lot, and the, um, the game ran okay. Uh, <laughs> my computer is old, so it, it, it struggled a bit at the very beginning, but once I lowered the settings and, and such, it, like, calmed down. Um, I definitely need a computer upgrade at some point. I don't know when exactly that's gonna be, but I definitely need it. Uh, but as long as it can continue to hold on, I, I will hopefully continue to hold on. Um, I'm gonna keep my eye out on things here in the near future for deals and stuff, but who knows. Anyway, uh, when I streamed it, it was the Advanced Access on Steam, which started today, uh, and I... Uh, started playing through the story mode. There are what-if scenarios that are very interesting, but I haven't gotten to go to them yet, because I want to go through, like, the main story normally, and then I'll start working through the what-ifs. I think they're called, like, sparking episodes. Because um, they definitely sound interesting. Like, one of them is Goku turns Super Saiyan during the fight versus Vegeta in the Saiyan Saga. That would be really cool to 
see. So I'm going to work through the, like, the regular story first, and then I'll start working through the, um, the what-ifs. And apparently they, the people in chat really loved it, so maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll continue. I will say, though, that the fight against Great Ape Vegeta was very, very difficult. Christ. Almighty. Yes, Vegeta, I get it. You'll break me. But I have fun overall, and chat seemed to have fun, so I'm gonna continue streaming it at some point. I don't know when exactly, though. I realized today that I never updated the calendar from August, so I'm gonna cross out this the last of it. Cross out all of September because I never did any of September, and then we're in October now. So here's October. So we ended up having a cake for mom today, and her birthday was yesterday, but we had it today because uh, everybody was going to be available. Unfortunately, neither Jake nor Olivia were, like, willing to sing very much, which, uh, is what it is, but, uh, she is 48, which is crazy to me, because in my mind, she's still in her, like, late 20s, early 30s, but even though I know that is not the case, but also she was 23 when she had me, so, yeah, I'm older than I'm older now than she was when she had me. Time flies. Anyway, here's a clip of us having cake. And a one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Sing, Jake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday to you. You didn't even lip sync. Wow, you suck. <laughs> wow, you suck. <laughs> All right. And now, because it is Tuesday, it is the end of the week. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one. And I'll see you next week.